Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're heading out to the thrift stores. We will have to voice over some parts, but let's go in and see what we can find. I found this skull flashlight. I thought it would be pretty cool in a Halloween display, but for $2.99, not worth it for me. Spotted this mug and I'm like 100%, maybe 99% sure that it was made in China. And I pulled that back and usually you can see that gold sticker. It means it's a made in China um, piece, but I pulled it back just in case and it is actually a China piece, but pretty cute anyway i spot a pumpkin i don't think he's had vintage he looked newer and he whoops what's inside of him stuff inside of him but i think he's a general phone he's probably a little newer i spotted her right away because of the wings and the gold on it oh look it's a february angel Oh my god, she's so cute, and I'm actually a February birthday. Oops. What a great find. Oh my god, I'm so excited. She's really cute. And it looks like she might have had a repair in her wing, but she's still in really great condition. The sticker keeps falling off. Where'd it go? Okay, so I can't believe that I found this. This is a huge Wolverine x-man action figure from 1995 i'm so excited this is so cool and he's 5.99 look what i found no no it's not that i love this oh it's your birthday i just realized she has a chip on her little flower mm. but yeah for three dollars this thing keeps oh, no, falling off Gotta be careful. How cute, right? This is exciting. It's sort of. It's not bad. It's sort of exciting. His face is a little newer, but that elf in the sky. Yeah. Two dollars. And then these like pig things. Oh. I don't know how collectible they are. That's cute. Is that like a chocolate? I don't know, it's something. Yeah, I've seen it before, but I don't know exactly what it is, so I'm gonna have to look that up. I found this, which is pretty cool. It's for 1995. Wow. Is that, is that like an older one? It's from 1995. Oh, they said it was 1995, like the no, price. No, no, it's only 5 dollars Oh, that's pretty and cool. And it um, still works. Oh, that's cool. So I'm pretty excited about that. Very cool. Yeah. Another awesome toy aisle find. I saw these two little crocheted knitted Santas. Flipped them over, found that one. I see another bag, let's see. Nope, just a crochet Santa. Look what I found. <gasps> Stop it! Was this in the toy section? Don't yes, tell me it was in the toy section. There. there was another crocheted Santa, but it doesn't have a, a bag. That's the all I saw. Stop it, wait, let me see him. And I flipped it over. Oh my god. Found him. This pencil sharpener is cool. It's like Yikes Nickelodeon and it sells for like 10 to $15. Really? Yeah, I'm not gonna get it, but I thought it was cool. Caught my eye. Next stop of the day is Second Avenue Thrift Store. Pretty good place. Let's see what they have. There are just so many clowns on the shelves. A lot of clowns. Like, way too many for this to be a coincidence. Like, this has to be a collection. Yeah, somebody came and just dropped off their entire clown collection. <laughs> but there are a lot of figures here. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything that's too holiday or super vintage, though. Little pig. Listen, she's so, so cute. It's big. I can't pick it up. <laughs> it's probably a Japan piece, and she's got yeah. a really cute face. She does. She's big. This little doll was sort of cute and different. At first, I thought it was maybe like a precious moments, but I tried to flip it over and I thought maybe there would be a sticker or tag on the back and then I saw it was tucked into his little shirt. So it's from 1974. The stuffed animal called the Little Urchins. Sort of cute, but doesn't have much resale value. Look who I spy. So this is a really cute bear planter. It doesn't look super old, but I couldn't really tell who the maker was. When I did peel back the sticker, there was like a bell symbol. Not sure who the maker is, but I thought he was pretty cute. 
do a quick scan of the china. Got some Corel or Pyrex. I get confused which is which. This looks like Pyrex. A whole set here. This set is so common, so it doesn't go for too much, but it's still pretty. Look at this, I found another tang canister. This one doesn't have the cross hatching like the one I had found last week, so not as desirable, but really funny to see what I had just found one. This vintage kitchen towel is just so cool. Look at the colors, and I just love the floral pattern. Not in great condition to pick up, but I loved it. We're back from the thrifts, and this is what we got. Um, I saw this little bag of Christmas doodads. Yeah. And his little face stood out to me, if you can get him on camera. Try and get it. <laughs> He's a little cheeky guy. He's a little cheeky guy. I'm going to open this up and take a better look at what's in here. So I paid $2 for this bag. This is the guy that stood out to me. <laughs> look at his little face. He's actually older than I thought he was, I think. Um, I thought he was maybe a little newer, like Korea, Taiwan, but he actually looks a little older to me. When I see that little gold foil stamp on the front, if you flipped him over, on his little belly. Yep, that. Yeah, you see that a lot on like Japan pieces. So I do mm -hmm. think he is older. He's got little yeah, candy cane he, legs. He looks Japan to me. Yeah. He's cute. So I'll probably throw him into like a little lot of little guys like him. And then there was this guy who actually has a Japan sticker on the back. This little elf guy made out of this. Um, it's like burlap. Yeah. A little burlap body. He's got a little blow He's mold like head. Straw hair. <laughs> yeah. He's like, um, he's like the scarecrow elf. <laughs> yeah. And there's his little Japan sticker. So, for $2 and picking up these two little Japan pieces, I thought, why not? So at the thrift store, I spotted one. And I know we're not supposed to be picking up more. <laughs> um, but he's older. I'm just really surprised because you're always saying we don't need any more pumpkin pails. Well, with this website that we're working on, I thought he'd be a good thing to sell. Um, he true. is older. He has his rivet, so that stands out as being an older pail, um, mm -hmm. probably from the 80s or so. And he yeah. was only like a dollar fifty or something. So how could Cute. I leave him behind? <laughs> as long as we sell him, we're fine. We're fine. And then the most exciting thing I found um, today at the same thrift store is this little birthday angel mm -hmm. whose sticker kept falling off. She was two ninety nine. Great price. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see what it says here. Gift craft napco. Oh, she's a napco angel. So. Um, also really excited to see her because she's a February angel and my birthday is this Sunday. So it was like perfect timing. And she also is holding a heart for Valentine's Day. She's a great piece. She does have a little chip on the uh, flower, but not very noticeable. Could probably yeah, fix it up if I wanted all. to. Mm -hmm. um, at least she's not missing a wing, which is they're usually missing like a wing or have a really bad repair to the wing. So I thought or the she head too. Or the head. Yep. So I thought she was really cute for $3. And it's Great your find. birthday, so yeah, she's waiting coming for up me in February. So I found a set of these three glasses. I think the maker is on there. Um, I don't know much about these glasses. I don't think they're that old. Maybe from the eighties. But I thought they were really pretty, and they were like twenty five or fifty percent off. So I think I only spent like a dollar each on them. They do have a nice look to them. Really cute. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna resell them. I think they'd be really cute in the display or even just using during Christmas time or winter time. So, and lastly at um, Second Avenue, I picked up this pig, <laughs> this piggy bank. Um, she's in really rough shape on the bottom. She was $5. It looks like they like taped up an outlet plug to her. Mm, resourceful. Yeah. Um, so she's missing her stopper, but I thought maybe, I thought more so for um, display and decorative. Yeah. I think she has a really cute face. She's pretty big for a piggy bank and she does have a little chip there. Mm -hmm. But I thought because she's so cute, she could she resell. She has such a cute little face. Yeah, little floral, uh, little floral pieces on her ear. She's got pretty eyelashes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's a pretty pig. She's a pretty pig. Do you think there was at one point a uh, sticker on the bottom that said who made it or anything? Possibly. I don't mm -hmm. know. I know that there were a lot of piggy banks were really big, so I don't know if all the makers mark theirs, mm. possibly. If anybody knows, I'd love to know. So yeah, I think because of her size and how cute she is, she will resell, I'll probably sell her for like $15 or so. So that was everything that I grabbed. So it was kind of hard to miss this, in my opinion. When I saw it, I was surprised it was still there. 
This is a 1995 Wolverine. Is that in the, it's so big. Yeah, it is big. Um, yeah. Wolverine action figure. Uh, it's made by Toy Biz. And I, I mean, he's so cool. He's a gigantic action figure from the 90s. Could definitely be a pretty cool display piece for someone. Um, he's not worth a whole lot of money, at least not from what I saw online, but he is pretty cool and definitely I think worth the $5.99 that I paid for him. He also talks, which I think is really cool, and he actually still works. Like there's batteries in him and he works. It's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool piece. It's a massive toy. It's like a, imagine a kid playing with that. It's like I know. Size. Yeah. And this is a great example of some really cool 90s action figure toys. So picked him up. And then I saw also in the toy, I'm going to have him stand here with me. So I can get him. Just, he's so heavy. He's got too much muscle on him. He he's does. Like, I saw this also on the toy aisle. It's got two knitted and um, more crocheted Santas, homemade Santas in it. I bought this for $2.99. Thought that was a pretty good price considering. He's got sort of a cute face. Sort of cute, yeah. And this one's like a skinny Santa with like thick legs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little hat, that's cute. Come with you. And then there's this guy who I'm really excited about um and kind of oh my god a little friend he's got his boots too oh. just like him is he on a flower pick he is on a pick i don't know if they stuck this in him to just hold him up or not or if he was originally a a uh, a floral pick but it's a little santa look how cute look at his little face he's got a great face and little boots to match so this is definitely a Japan piece, I would guess. That's what I was Just thinking. Just because of the hand-painted face. Maybe Taiwan, but I don't think so. I think this is a pretty vintage mid-century piece. Great find. Yeah, I was so you, excited. You in that toy aisle. I know, it's my favorite place now. He's so cute. I love him. So that's all I picked up. Do you, do you Two want action it? figures. <laughs> <laughs> so that wraps up today's finds, guys. Thanks for joining us on another thrifting adventure. As always, thanks for watching and subscribing. We really appreciate the support. Make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below of what your favorite find was from today. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.